Michelle. All right, Amy, thank you. That leads us to this conversation. What makes a happy couple? Well, it turns out it is not just love. Relationship expert Rick Brown here with us now to talk about the four things happy couples know. Thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you. We Good appreciate to be here. It. Okay, so I was interested in the fact that most of these topics have to do with money. Okay, yes. Uh, yes. Yeah, so the first one is marriage is as much an economic as an emotional relationship. Describe right. that to us. Well, I think couples that are able to find ways to be with each other and do simple things like just especially with the economy in terms of how we had to cut back people were able to get out and just take a walk or go to a park or enjoy a movie together those couples who are able to enjoy those small things in life seem to be able to have a much happier time than others who are dependent on money to be their source of happiness instead of an extravagant trip or an extravagant present for your loved one you're saying go for the walk. Well, yeah, it, because it really is a building of the little things that actually make that relationship stronger. Uh, there was an interesting study done where uh, happy couples or successful couples are actually doing five positive things for every one negative thing. So mm. we're all going to make mistakes. We're all going to kind of short each other from time to time. But are you building in your relationship those small little things that give your partner a sense of feeling loved, cared for, and valued? What kind of things? When you say small things, what do you well, mean? Well, uh, mostly spirit. It, it's uh, One of the things they found is this, uh, there's a spirit of generosity. If you can find yourself extending yourself in ways that uh, for example, calling on the way home and saying, hey, I'm, I knew you had some things to get. How about if I run by and get those for you? Or somebody comes home and you extend yourself in a way that says, uh, you look tired. Can I, can I, can I do that for really? you? Can I help it's, you with that? It's all about respecting the well, other person. Well, it's also about getting outside of yourself and really seeing the other person in the relationship. That is just really not all about you. Okay, let's get to number two. Switch the traditional financial responsibilities. What does that one mean? Well, uh, what they have found is that couples who get locked into patterns in which uh, I'm the breadwinner and therefore I'm in charge of the money uh, and your job is to just kind of do this with me. Uh, that does not work. What we have to do, now you may have certain gifts, you may be better at managing money, mm -hmm. but you have to be on board with your partner and being able to share what each other is doing with that. And it comes down to little things, right? If I go out to lunch every single day and we're trying to save up for a house uh, and the other person's bringing bagged lunch, there's going to be some animosity. Is that the kind well, of that, stuff you that, mean? That actually can happen, but and do you find ways to support each other in what gives you meaning and value? Like you would like to go out to lunch with your friends, you really enjoy that, it gives you a sense of feeling mm -hmm. alive and connected, but do you also find a way to support the things that I enjoy doing. Okay, number three is accumulating stuff really doesn't matter. Well, it really doesn't work uh, because <laughs> if you just, important. yeah, and I remember early in my own marriage, we found ourselves uh, going out and trying to buy a new comforter for the bed and that lasted about two weeks and we wanted to change that. We weren't happy with that. And really beneath that was not going out and buying the stuff. It was about the fact that there's something wasn't right in the relationship. And if you're going out to buy things to make your relationship better, it's not going to work. It's not going to replace it. The last one is define your own roles. Can you tell us about that one in 10 seconds? Well, the, the, the fact of the matter is that today there is no real breadwinner in most families. Mm -hmm. Most couples, both people are working. And the old traditional place of uh, this is my role and that is your role, I don't think that works anymore. I think couples have to really come together and say, we need to both be sharing in the response responsibility of taking care of our kids. We both need to be sharing the responsibility of the finances and everything. And so to be able to say it's okay for me to do this part and not only is it okay, I really need to stretch into doing those mm -hmm. things is really what's going to be healthy. Communicating all of that. Yeah. That's and the to be able to part. share about that rather than just kind of hold on to traditional patterns and roles. All right, Rick Brown, our relationship expert. Thank you so yeah, much for joining us. We appreciate it. All right, let's head over to Amy.